You, you know what? Just mm, no. Hold the coffee. Hey, I was trying to reach you at the hospital. What's going on? Is how how is everything? The doctor said that Richard's never going to get better. Daddy, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm supposed to keep telling the kids, you know. God only knows how I'm going to pay the hospital bills and for the work I've already had done on the farm and how I'm supposed to make Richard better. I thought doctors were supposed to sugarcoat bad news. Uh, well, if they had, would you have believed them? I have to believe something. I mean, I still don't understand how someone so healthy and so alive as Richard, one minute, can all of a sudden be strapped to a hospital bed and paralyzed the next. I know it's not right and it's not fair, but it happens. I just wish I had better news for Cassie. Reva, she will forgive you. You just have to give her time. You know, I took your advice, bud. I refuse to give up on her as a sister. I refuse to leave when she wanted me gone. There was a moment when Richard was having these terrible pains, and she turned to me. And the minute they were over, she started hating me all no, over no, again. No, no, she doesn't hate you. Remember, she was going through a lot of pain on her own. She needs to take it out on me. Well, yeah, but that's what families do sometimes to each other, you know? They, they hurt each other, or they lash out at each other when they're feeling pain. But then, then they forgive each other. Because that's what families do. And that's what Cassie's gonna do, I know it. I don't deserve you. Seeing you like this is... seems... It seems I've waited for it my whole life. Dreamed about it. Now. dancing on your grave. Drinking champagne, toasting your ruin. But deep down inside, I never thought anything like this could really happen to you. Not you. You're invincible. You're Richard. God, I always thought I thought you were better than me. I guess I've spent my whole life trying to prove us wrong. So we have some unfinished business. You and I. I have years of anger and resentment left in me to take out on you, so don't you cheat me. Don't you give up this fight. All right? Come on. 
Come on, tell me I'm worthless. Tell me I'm an embarrassment. Tell me I'm a liar, a cheat. Oh, come on, tell me you're sickened by me. Come on, tell me anything, but don't you? Don't, don't. If I don't have you, I'm crying so much, I can't believe I have any tears left, you know? Crying's good. It just makes me feel like I'm giving up and I just can't give up. I I believe Richard's gonna get better, I do. That's so awful about falling in love. Is, you know, you open yourself up to this person, you make yourself so vulnerable, so when they leave, you can't Well, he's it. not leaving. Harley. I mean, God wouldn't do that. You know, God's not gonna take a kind, wonderful, generous man away from his wife and three children. He wouldn't do that. You know, you know, I have to get back to the hospital. Okay. Well, I, you know, you can always reach me. I'm, I'm there. I'm here. Just, what can I do to help? Tell me. Just, um, to be my friend. Yes. Well, that's easy. She doesn't seem to be doing very well. Well, her husband's in the hospital. She's got three kids to worry about. How should she seem? What's that supposed to mean? Well, everybody thinks she should be so strong. Her life is never going to be the same. I'm not saying it is. And men leave, and women are just expected to suck it wait, up. It happens wait, all the time. Wait a minute. You and I are having two different conversations here. Richard didn't choose to have an accident here. I know he didn't. I'm sorry. Are you afraid what's his name is going to leave you? No. Oh, get out! Get the hell out of here! Hey. I think you should leave. You should I'm leave his now. brother. What? I don't have a right to be here. Edmund, you... what are you doing here? I'm trying to pay my respects. Really? Well, you, you you think I don't care what happens to him? I don't care what you think, Edmund. Cassie. I'm not trying to make any trouble. I simply want to be with my brother. There is nothing simple about you, Edmund. You have hated Richard your entire life. You have spent your entire life trying to destroy him. Am I supposed to think all of a sudden you have a heart? God, I love him. Did you love him when you took the crown from him? Did you love him when you killed our baby? All of these. I've ever done to him. None of them mean I don't love him. None of them mean I forget how close we were as children. Oh, give me a break. Have you forgotten Josh and Reva's rehearsal dinner? Richard reached out to you, and you rejected him. So I don't want to hear how much you love him. I don't want to hear how you mourn your brother. Every ounce of energy I have is willing this man to live and to be whole again. And you are bad energy. And you don't belong here. You think I don't know how much pain I've caused the two of you? God, day doesn't go by when I don't regret every moment of it. Then why did you reject Richard when he tried? God, it's all I know how to do. else. I don't 
don't know what else to be. What to feel. If I, if I no longer have you to be angry at, resentful of. You can choose to believe that or not. But you're right, I don't belong here. I'm okay. I was just trying to help you. Josh, no, just, you know. Just Hear me out here, all right? You seem to feel that you need to be at war with everybody around you right now, with Reva and with the doctors. But we're all just trying to help you. you understand that? I can't really have this conversation right now. Cassie, if you want to jump all over Edmund, I don't care what you say to him. He deserves it. But Reva does not. No. Reva's only crime is that she loves you, Cassie. I can't offer any excuse for that. But think about it. The man ran a country, he was royalty. And he lost everything. Hey. No, he didn't. He had to know how much I loved him. And that nothing could ever stop that. He had to know that. Yes, but he also needed to know that he could still take care of you and the kids. He didn't need you to be strong for him. He needed to be strong for you, and that's the way it would be with any man who wants to take care of and protect his family. Cassie, I grew up in the shadow of my father, and it's no fun at all. It took me a long time to get out from under it. He wasn't in anyone's shadow. What about yours? Richard admired you, Cassie. The way you survived after Hart was killed, the way you fought to keep those kids with you. This is crazy. This is crazy. I know that. I know that. Look, I, Richard and I have not always seen eye to eye, but I know this. The man loves you. He didn't want to do anything that would diminish him in your eyes. He couldn't. You knew that. But Richard had to convince himself. He wasn't wearing his seatbelt. That's why he was hurt so badly. to rush to make that deal to get back to me and I I am so angry at him for being so careless and I am so afraid that I'm gonna lose him and I just can't
Reeve, I can't accept oh, your money. Oh, come sweetie. You can't do this alone. But we have, you know, it, it's covered. I mean, Richard has insurance. He does. But the hospital administrator it, said it was They were wrong. wrong. They were wrong. I mean, he has insurance issued from San Cristobal, so we're just waiting for it. Are you sure? Yeah. At the very least, let us help out with the, with the kids' needs. Okay. All right. Uh, that would be great, just, just until, you know, the money comes from San Cristobal. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll be here to help you as long as you need it. Thank you. Do us a favor, will you? Go home and get some rest. And something to eat. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I could sleep or eat. Right now, get out of here. Richard would hate knowing that you were spending all this time here. I, I guess I could go... Um, I can go stop by the beacon and just see how things are going there. I can go. And when you come back, we'll get something to eat together. I'm going to go say goodbye to Richard. Thank you for giving me this. You didn't hear me uh, lie to Reva and Josh. I just... If you did, I, I'm sure you'd understand. We don't have any money. I don't know how I'm going to pay your hospital bills. Go to 